I'm hoping that Dr. Mello will have a chance to talk a little bit about himself and about his journey in getting there and some of the trials and tribulations or adventure that he has had. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing Dr. Mello's personal story of discovery. Uh, well, I would hope the students will get inspiration uh, and that they will be re-energized. I'm really going to just try to, to create for you the sense of wonder that I feel as a scientist. This is an example for them to see how good a career can really be when you reach the pinnacle of your science. Organisms have been in the information age for 3.8 billion years. Well, the lecture was phenomenal. I mean, I learned a lot of things uh, today, especially to know that bacteria has an immune system. I mean, no one, none of us would have ever guessed that. And only now, I think, now that we're in the information age too, can we begin to appreciate even what that's actually like. What's the first thing you need when you're swimming in that kind of information? You need tools for searching it. His message of being persistent and following your passions um, is just something really inspiring for a young scientist. So are any of you using Chris? He said that if, if, if he gave a job to every single person here, he would only recommend it to those who would actually want to do it if they were getting paid almost nothing. We also have what he thinks is kind of going to be the golden age of life yeah. sciences. <laughs> well, that's a good place to be. So learning how to communicate what you're working on and why it's important to someone who isn't a scientist, who isn't a PhD in your subject area, boy, that's really important. So I was really pleased to see someone so enthusiastic. I think when you're doing like discovery science, there's a point where you just don't know anything, right? And you, you, so it's kind of ridiculous to even try to formulate a model. It's like that puzzle where that first few pieces you need to find them just by chance and then things start to fall together. So it's very much like that and that it's different scientists like different phases of the puzzle building. Bringing these people who accomplished something that every scientist can aspire to and making them available to talk to scientists is extremely inspiring. You sort of feel connected to that. You feel you can do it too.